What's going on everybody? It's your boy Laidback365 coming to you live from the district with another sneaker review. This sneaker right here has been on my radar for a while and I got my hands on them. Um, went to House of Hoops this morning, picked them up. Um, you know, it was a line. Everybody was majorly in line for the uh, cement force, so I was lucky to get these, man. They only had roughly 15, if not even that. And they only had one or two per size. So I got my size and I'm happy, man. I'm gonna get into the sneaker real fast. Um, when these first were brought to light, um, people were dubbing them as chameleon. Um, but uh, we know, you know, we know the name of them now. The nickname is called Invisibility Cloak. The most notable feature is the fly wire upper. You know, and it features an iridescent sheen. Depending on the angle of the sneaker, the upper can appear to be deep purple or a shade of turquoise, depending on how you look at it. And this was the feature that really sold me on the sneaker. Really, really sold me. The midsole and the back heel also has the iridescent effect. I hope you can see it well. Translucent also. The pink accent. Pink Kobe accent. Finishes off the look. Power fiber shank in the mid also. And so as play fast. I believe the other one. The other and so also has play fast. So I'm really, really lucky to get these. I think these are dope. I probably will not even bring these out until the weather break. Probably springtime, I'll bring these out. Got Kobe's signature in the back. And uh, closer up detail, details, you got the, the Mamba print going around the mid. You got a very, very cushioning support collar. As you can see, it is really, really plush pretty firm but very very flush dope sneaker man let me know what you guys think um, since the video didn't go too fast will go to take too long I want to I want to ask you guys a question how do you guys feel about early releases and the prices how do you feel about them? how do you feel about the websites that you know certain websites to get them early and charge a certain amount of price are you cool with it you know if you're a sneakerhead and you just love the sneaker you gotta have it do you cop early or what you know what i'm saying like me personally i don't get i don't get my sneakers from any websites anything i get early i i'm just blessed to know people you know being able to travel the world and meet people that's you know in the sneaker industry so i'm blessed to get certain sneakers early you know some i don't get early some i don't want to get early some you know sometimes i don't mind standing out line for a little bit you know a couple hours if i had to to get a sneaker i love it almost gives me like a better satisfaction like yeah you know i you know i boom i got the sneaker it took a while or you know i had to do this and do that you know that's just my way of thinking it might be sound crazy to some people but that's the type of sneaker head i am um yeah so you know um uh, if you guys feel you know feel need to please put a comment let me know what you guys think about it you know copping early you know and all that good stuff. Also, sometimes when people cop early, you're not even getting the full package of what the sneaker is. For example, you know, uh, certain people are getting, you know, not knocking anything. They, the the Jordan, the Jordan Force, um, the Shaq, you know, the New York Nick colorway. You're getting those early, but you're not even seeing what the package is going to be. The package has the whole presentation is, you know, is going to be sick. But you're not going to get that if you, you know, cop early sometimes. It's just not going to happen. But anyway, 
Uh, thanks for show, checking your boy out. Laid back 365 coming to you live from the district. Keep your sneakers clean. Oh yeah. I hope y'all didn't think I was gonna give y'all on feet review. I had to do it for y'all. Don't forget, man, make sure y'all comment. Let me know how you feel about early releases and you know the whole subject. Alright? Then we can go into deep discussion about it as well. Also forgot to mention Nike Brand Swoosh is 3M. I hope you guys getting a good look at them. I hope they change it for you. You know, just in case you really haven't got a good look of them. These are my first Kobe 7s. Alright man, it's your boy Ladyback365. Keep your sneakers clean.